today's topic is a comparative study on similarities between the definite article law and the particle union in a novel. So uh, the purpose of this paper is uh, to find the meaning similarities between the English definite article law and the Korean particle union uh, through the English novel and Korean novel. So I examined the theories of uh, uh, several scholars of the definite uh, English English definite article law and obtained the non-general uh, uses of English uh, definite article law, um, such as five uh, categories. So uh, these are uh, for uh, unaffiliated uses, situational uses. Associative uses, logical uses, and uses with the modifier. fire. So, uh, however, English particle, uh, English definite article law functions uh, through all the context, but Korean particle unknown uh, can be a topic uh, in all, all sentence, and I examine the only Korean particle unknown. Object as subject of function. So, okay. Contents are consist with the four steps. First, the introduction, second method, third result, and finally, uh, conclusions. So let's go on to the, the instruction. For Korean English learners, English article uh, are the most difficult. Uh, grammatical item because we don't have any article system in Korea. So according to studies by, by various scholars, uh, the only English uh, students cannot aware of the English article. So Lee and Wilson did the experiment on the use of the DA by dividing participants into two groups. The uh, first group uh, of students who don't have an article system like the Korean, Japanese, and Chinese. And the second group, second groups are the groups of users who speak Indo-European languages. So the digit uh, result is very interesting. The first group uh, is tended to omit all articles uh, at the beginning of English learning. But the second group who uh, speak uh, in the European languages uh, can use the article up to, the, up to almost the same level with the uh, English users. So, I think the learner's native language is one of the most important factors in foreign language learning. So the uh, premise of this study is a Korean English learner is that Korean English learner will be able to learn the article more effectively if there is a Korean language item corresponding to English articles. So method, uh, let's go on to the uh, next uh, passage. I forgot to <laughs> put the next to uh, um, next to steps method. So just I <laughs> will say uh, by my voice. So I will I use the uh, comparative analytical method to compare uh, English novel and a uh, Korean novel. The text is Night Train to Lisbon by Pascal Marshall in English novel and the Korean uh, translation novel Lisbon and Yagan Yolcha. Um, okay, then, as you um, so look at the passage text, so one is the uh, Korean traditional uh, story for children, Soka de Gilme, the lazy one who became a cow. And the next text, next story is an Iso fable, a fox in a crown. So focus on, please focus on the noun. So first noun, 게으름뱅이가, 게으름뱅이는, 아내가, 아내는, and 게으름뱅이는. And focus on the underlined, underlined nouns. 
and then uh, next in the next passage, a crow, a fox, the crow, the crow, the fox. So did you figure out the rules? So the finite article though and a particle unnun has the same meaning function. So or in definite article or in English in nominal marker e ka in Korean has the new information, meaning of new information. So we call them new information marker. And the in English, unnun in Korean has the, the old information, so we call them old information marker. So you can you could see Gerbenika is the uh, first Gerbenika uh, is presented first and then when it is used the next time then Gerbenin the Aneha next time Anenin a fox the fox a crow the crow okay so we can see we can know the meaning function of definite article though the so definiteness identifiability and uniqueness then the meaning function of particle unknown in korea it has the meaning of uh, separate exclusiveness contra contrast distinction restrict specify separate and limit so in result, I will say to you about three things. The, number one, the similarity between new and old information markers in the English article and the Korean particles. Look at the example. Number one, 사과가 있어요. 이 사과는 맛있어요. Uh, they mean uh, there is an apple, the apple is delicious. And uh, example two, 다 들어왔니? means are you all here? And the answer as the answer, 아니, 영희는 왔는데 민수는 아직 안 왔어. So that means no, 영희 is here and 민수 is not here. So number three, example, 서기, 훈이, 우미는 몰라도 철수는 밥을 먹는다. That means we don't know if 서, 훈, and 웅, 에, or not. 철수, it's rice. So the meaning of function, meaning function of the English definite article do and the Korean particle uh, I think they have a, a similar meaning. So do has definiteness and identifiability, and unnun has uh, meaning functions uh, such as separate, exclusiveness, contrast, distinction, restrict, specify, separate, limit, and also unnun is a meaning qualifier. And also, definite to the tone is a meaning qualifier. So number three, the comparison of the meaning functions between the English definite article the and the Korean particle unknown in a novel. I examined the five categories through the analysis of the novel. So uh, first one, enough three uh, uses. So Hawkins states that the anaphoric usage of the definite article the is when it is used in a shared previous discourse set. So where an object satisfying a descriptive predicate exists. So first, uh, uh, all, uh, first of all, I will say to you about that all passages and all texts that are from the naturally to respond and disowning one in your child. So, uh, in four, neglected and uh, next, uh, <coughs> show the neglect. In four, neglected is first mentioned and when it is mentioned again, it is combined with the. the. So, where the is used as unapproved uses. Then, Look at the number five. It is the uh, Korean. So, 황폐해 보이는 the noun underlined, underlined. 황폐해 보이는. So, it is. It was used at first just 황폐해 보이는, and the next time 황폐해 보이 uh, plus 은. So, 황폐해 보이 uh, is combined with 은. Uh, it is a old information marker. So. Neglected, 황폐해 보이. 
있는 더 neglect는 you know, 황폐해 보이는 어, and second uh, stop the situational uses Hawkins calls a general knowledge use if we live in the same village and same town and same planet and in, in Earth then we can uh, say some noun with the uh, dog for example the sun, the church, the road, the street, the well, something like that so in passage 6, you can see the ice. In that passage, ice is presented uh, first, but it can uh, be a um, old information marker because uh, in 6, uh, Father uh, Patulo, the priest, is explaining the scene of Amadeus' speech, which was excellent, but there was a fraught silence because it was profane about God. But in this sentence, Gregorius understands the same space and events while listening to the priest's story. So, the first mentioned eyes will combi is combined with the old information marker, the. So, similarly, uh, in passage 7, the noun underlined, 긴장. 긴장 means eyes or some novice feeling. So, 긴장 is combined so, un is the uh, old information mark. So, let's go to uh, three steps. Associative uses. Hawkins, uh, uh, Hawkins states the trigger. The trigger means uh, that can be associated with the concept of parts of in a set shared by the speaker and the listener. In a similar concept, you will state a sentence, uh, I can give you a cup, but the handle is broken. So it means if X is a cup, then X will have a handle. So we can imagine uh, some parts of a uh, trick. So look at the number 8 uh, passage, then uh, the noun is uh, the teachers. In that passage, teachers are presented first, but it can be our old information uh, between the uh, interlocutors, speakers, and the listeners. Because uh, we have the teachers in school. There are teachers and students in school. So that uh, scene is uh, uh, something. That, yeah, that is uh, the situation. Speech, yeah. Um, Amadeus' speech. So, uh, Father Patalo is explaining about the speech of Amadeus to the Gregorius. And look at uh, the passage 9 that is uh, Korean. So, the last uh, last noun uh, phrase is Majima Munjagun. On, on the line. So, 마지막. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is the next step. So, 선생님. 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 So, 선생님 means teachers. So, 더 means 은. So, it is the same. They are, they have the same function. The next passage, next step is for logical uses. Hoax states that uh, uses Mm, four uh, categories. So, first one, ordinal numbers, superlative adjective, word re representing an author, uniqueness. So, uh, when we use a doll, then uh, when you read the noun uh, with the doll, we uh, can see the Ordinal number, superlative adjective, words representing an order, uniqueness. For which example, uh, eight, then the last sentence. So last is a logical uh, word. So even though sentence is presented at first, then we can combine the the in front of last. The same meaning, number nine, 
the translation expression 마지막 문장은 그래서 마지막 means the last, 문장 means the sentence, and 더 means 은 So 더 and 은 has the old information The last step used with the modifier So uh, who can include uh, modifier as estimating relative clauses, associative clauses, NP complements, and nominal modifiers. We can use the in front of the noun when we uh, can see that kind of uh, modifiers. So in passage 8, these are same passage number 8 and number 9. So the sentence from the pain of a 17 year old in corner closed. So, uh, from the pain of a 17 year old in colloquialist uh, modify the, the sentence. So, we can use the in front of the sentence. And the same meaning, number 9, uh, 17살, 17살짜리 우상 파괴자, 파괴자의 팬 끝에서 나온 문장. So, 17살이 우상 파괴자의 핀 끝에서 나온 modified 문장 So we can use 은 like the So as a conclusion The non-generic definitive article the and the Korean particle 은은 only when functioning as a subject and object in the sentence so when they form function um, in the five categories like anaphora uses, situation uses, associative uses, logical uses, usage with modifier, that those meanings are the same. So that is the conclusion of my uh, paper. So, uh, thank you for listening. <laughs>